guys, welcome to Chantal's Tuesday Talk. Today I have a little segment I want to share with you guys how to make your offer stand out. Because recently I do have a few listings, a competitive you know, price on the market, very attractive and we have so many offers. One of the agents called me up and asked me, hey Chantal, what's wrong with my offer? What do I need to do to be, you know, be more competitive? Well, have an edge. But for me, based on when I was with the buyer, well, just sharing with my personal experience. Right here, we have like um, 12 offers, okay? We sorted out by what? Okay, cash is king. Can talk about cash. Okay, if you don't have cash, then either go in conventional because we could have sorted it out and present it to the seller. They don't want to make a decision. Important thing is we'll look down. Down payment. If it's attractive. You don't have a down payment, then what type of loan you're gonna have? Conventional, FHA, or cash, okay? Of course, you have an edge, you've had cash, but you gotta make a right offer. Well, option period. The option period is what determined. Do not ask for too many days. Okay, put in usually people about in the normal time. You, people ask for seven to 10 days to think about it, but here, you don't have time. You shorten it up three days, which I did for my client. Okay, they picked hour because we didn't even ask three. I think I asked for two days. It's crazy because it's in the market, you want to get your foot in the door. Okay, what type of policy? You know, everything is negotiable, right? Usually the normal time, you ask the seller to pay the title policy. Well, during a crazy time, you would have to ask your buyer to pay for the right price. Survey. You always ask the seller to pitch in, right? Just put in buyer. Sometimes they do have a survey, they give it to you for free anyway. But just put everything buyers. Home warranty. Don't even ask. And closing date, don't drag it out. I think you need to talk to your lender or the loan officer. Shorten the closing date. You could put three weeks if you find a good one, okay? And add over that, okay? If not, then, you know, we can move it. But I'm telling you, conventional cash first, and then conventional, okay? Of course, within the, within the right amount of the price also. If it's $200,000, you better go in with a good down payment. If not, then do not ask. Too many days on the market, remember. Title policy, buyer, buyer. You go in with that option. When I present it to you, you, the seller, and they say, you know what, the seller, I like this, I like this, I don't have to do this. The buyer is taking care, the buyer is taking care. You know what, I'm gonna take this offer. This is what happened, right now we have multiple offers, and my clients sit down and get to pick the one, give, give them less hassle, less headache, okay? So there you go. So to have an edge, realtor out there or you work with the buyers this is what you have to do in order to make your offer stand out okay anywho and um, we are looking for realtors that fit our caring culture and come and have a talk go into our website joinremax.com slash remax alliance h-o-u okay Join vmax.com slash vmax alliance h-o-u. Like, comment, and share. And remember, if I can sell your house in 60 days, I will sell it for free. And also, I'm raising $50,000 for the homeless. Please um, help me by going to helpinghoustonhomeless.com. Okay, and there you go. I'll see you guys too next Tuesday. Till then, take care.